All right, Uncle Sam FM here. We are on episode seven of American Football, and um, I'm mostly through the off season. Well, I am through the off season. Guys are back. We're training. We've already played one friendly, and so um, the 2018 season, my MLS Cup defense <clears throat> has begun. But this episode, I thought what we would do is we'll at least start the super draft. Um, I've done videos before on the super draft, but now you can kind of see again just kind of how I operate. Um, but real quick, before we get into that, let's just sort of look through, um, well, our off season so far. <laughs> and my squad is very, very different. Um, I have sent, um, I have traded away several guys. Um, trying to think of a who all. So I've got rid of Leonardo. Um, <clears throat> I actually sent Kyoto to, let's just go to the transfer history here. Um, yeah, here's some of my outs. So Dylan Remick sent to DC United for a late draft pick. Sold Garcia to Tulsa. Sold Eric Bird. Uh, I've started sending some of my guys out on loan, and we'll talk about <clears throat> these guys. I, obviously, I've brought a lot of guys in, and we'll talk about them uh, in a moment. Um, I think there was a way to see trades, right? Yeah, so <clears throat> sent off um, Kyoto. I actually brought in Villarreal in, this, in the waiver draft. Sent them on to Atlanta. Uh, sent Seren to Columbus, sent Jared Watts to DC United, made a couple big deals for international slots and draft picks where I sent obviously some big, you know, Cabezas, De La Garza, sites, Bonet Garcia, Alvarez, Leonardo. <clears throat> and so um, it's been busy. Um, as far as sending guys out, which means that, <clears throat> yeah, I'm a lot, <laughs> well, there was a lot of, a lot of openings. So um, I brought in a lot of guys who my scouts recommended. Um, one was, was my, my scout in Central Europe looking for loans uh, brought me this guy, which by the way, I let uh, Orohuela go back to Ajax. <clears throat> but I brought in this guy who I think is an even better right back than Orohuela. For He's going to be here all season on loan from Anderlecht. Um, you know, pretty good... Um, Ticks most of the boxes of the things I look for. Uh, his marking could be better. Uh, need to improve that. But, you know, everything else as far as an attacking fullback looks good. Uh, he's fast, right? At 15. For some leagues, that's not super fast. But in MLS, that's that's going to kind of set him apart. Um, Emmanuel Ajesoa. <clears throat> he's Ghanaian. Um, not been capped yet, but I've got to imagine that he's gonna get capped he can play right or left but probably for me he's gonna be on the right because he's got a, he prefers his right foot although you know he's decent with his left foot so in a pinch i can throw him on the left um so that was a big get for me the rest of these guys are um well no this guy leo xavier or xavier however you pronounce it i don't know if you <clears throat> if any of you guys know leo Z Z xavier um correct me but um Obviously, that two point eight million—that's a big deal. Um, he is a center back or defensive mid. Probably he's going to play center back. Um, he's pretty good in all the center back areas. Would like him to be be able to jump a little better. Um, but you know, he's 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 going to be what he probably for me. He's going to be one of my best center backs. Um, so those are my two main. Uh, guys that I brought in brought in some academy prospects Nick Allen um, looks you know decent he's got good determination <clears throat> scouts rated three and a half stars uh, Alejandro Davis um, only two and a half stars but he was 18 and so I kind of brought him in in the hopes that I could then eventually sell him to a lower level club <clears throat> and then Chris Birkins center back three and a half stars um, he actually <sighs> There's a chance I might keep him around. I'm going to have to tutor him. Because as you saw, his um, <clears throat> his determination is very low. Um, but, you know, I brought in Villarreal, but only to, only to trade him. I, I traded him away, um, I think, to get a draft pick. Um, but then I brought in a bunch of guys that um, I really just kind of hope develop. Um, Jefferson Felipe, center striker. <clears throat> He's got good finishing. Um, so... 
you know, that and his three and a half star potential kind of <clears throat> attracted me. Then Zhao Guima. Don't know how to pronounce it, but he looks pretty good, actually. Um, I probably am not going to loan him. He could, um, he, I don't know why, but he only shows as a two star. It could be because of his lower determination and his low leadership. But he's got 14 work rate, um, decisions 15, vision 12, passing 13. While those aren't great, those are pretty good uh, for a center mid. So, <clears throat> yeah, pretty excited about him. These other guys, not really much to mention. They're they're not they don't they stand out in a couple areas here and there. Like this is a goalkeeper, and I'm really just looking for guys that develop there. So, and he's already out on loan. <clears throat> um, Carlos Rafael is a winger um, who I've all well I don't. I'm not, he's going to be, he's exploring loan offers, um, you know, three stars. And a lot of these guys, I'll be honest, I'm just, I brought in a lot of guys in the hopes that some of them develop, right? Um, and at least until my academy starts producing some better players. Um, so that's kind of been, you know, the off season has been pretty busy. <clears throat> these were all guys that my, you know, scouts, especially to Brazil and to South America, brought in so <clears throat> now um let's let's go to the uh to the super draft now i've already kind of decided who of my foreign players <clears throat> i'm going to send out on loan i yeah because i have nine slots i traded for one i think so now i'm up to nine um and i've already decided which about which nine i'm going to keep so now it's figuring out the rest of the squad i've got to figure out who um well, which of my domestic players I'm gonna I'm gonna keep, and that really is gonna depend on who I bring in in this draft and and who's good enough to be on the squad now. Um, I have um, a whatever a spreadsheet of fifty guys. Um, I won't show it, but this is just kind of how I operate. Of the fifty best players that I saw in the draft, um, the guys that I want that I prioritize um, and my system I don't draft for need uh, I, I'm one who you know and some will some will say I need a center back and they'll go and draft the best center back that's available there's nothing wrong with that obviously there's more than one way to build a squad <clears throat> but for me and it's just kind of it really goes back to um, a man named Rich McKay, who was the general manager with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in, in the NFL, in, American, in real American football. And that was his policy. He, that's how he operated. He went into drafts, planning to draft the best player available. <clears throat> and eventually, the Buccaneers won the Super Bowl. Um, and so I, I, that kind of stuck with me. I figure if, I, if you're going to have a strategy, go with that, right? Um, and Because if you draft the best player available and you develop them, then then the rest of your transfer policy is just going to be about filling those holes those gaps and if you've got a couple guys in the same position who are really good well then you can sell one and you know make profit so um so that's my policy on on the draft the super draft <clears throat> so let's go in and I, yeah, i've got the first pick and i already know who i'm going to get um Let's see if I can find him. His name is Dalrymple, which is kind of a funny name, but he is a—he just happens to be a center back. Um, we'll take a quick peek at him. <clears throat> um, you look at that: fourteen tackling, thirteen marking, and my scouts. Um, don't remember if some of the—I didn't get to scout all the guys. Yeah. Yeah, this one, I, they didn't get his scouting finished. But um, you look at those numbers, and yeah, it was pretty clear that he's the guy I wanted. So Dalrymple is the first pick. <laughs> Something weird is going on outside my house right now. I'm sorry about this. <laughs> So, Dalrymple, first pick. <clears throat> and let's see who's next. Rob Bowen. I don't think I had him on my on my list. I'm going to try and, and not and do this as little as possible. I have a, a spreadsheet that you guys, I guess, can't see where I list all my guys. 
Um, Dalrymple is gone, so I'll take him off. Yeah, Bowen I don't even have in my top 50, which is unusual. Usually the first few picks will come out of there. Um, oh, Craig Smith got picked. Okay, uh, Craig Smith. I don't think I had him on my list. And I'm sorry, this is kind of weird, but there's a weird sound going on outside my house that almost sounds like gunfire. <laughs> but I don't think it is. I think somebody's just beating on something. <clears throat> I don't live in a dangerous neighborhood. Adrian Solis picked up by the fire. I did have him on my list. He was number four. <clears throat> but I don't see Craig Smith. When you have a list of 50, sometimes the names don't always just pop out. And I did spend a lot of time looking at all these guys. I take the draft very seriously because it's a really good way to build your squad. <clears throat> Too many people don't put enough effort into it. Um, okay. Scott Hill. Don't think I had him on my top 50. This is going to be a really good draft for me if this is how this is going to go. <clears throat> I already got my number one guy. Andrew Donner. Don't think I had him on my list. Uh, Carlos Galva. Now he, yeah, he was my third. He's a third player. He's a GA. So was Dalrymple. GAs are good because they don't count against your, your salary cap. <clears throat> which I have some videos on the MLS roster system to go back and check. Phil Cantu. Doesn't sound familiar. Don't think I had him. And tell you what we'll do is we'll just do the first round. <clears throat> <clears throat> so that you guys aren't sitting here watching me look at my spreadsheet. Jason Hughes. Don't think he was... I had a Hughes, but I don't think it was a Jason no. Okay, so now's my pick. And the next player I have was actually my number two, I, I Gabriel Nardella. He's a center mid. Yeah. He is a GA. Which, because of my <clears throat> trading, I ended up with four. I think I started with two first round picks, but I am, with all those trades I make, I had a fourth. Bob Smith, Jack Colazzo, Tommy Phillips. Let me just look see if I have any of those names. Bob Smith. Don't think I had a Bob Smith. <laughs> Interestingly, I think I had a Robert Smith. No, Richard. <clears throat> Colazzo. Colazzo sounds really familiar. I know I looked at him, but I may not have put him on my list. Tommy Phillips. Phillips. Don't see a Tommy Phillips. And Eric Jimenez. Don't think I had a Jimenez. No. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, just updating my Jim Smith. Don't think I had a Jim Smith. Ashby, I know I didn't have an Ashby, so now this is back to me. So I've got my top two. And next is a fullback, so that'll be good. I need fullbacks. Connor Thomas. Don't believe he was picked. And there he is, another GA. <clears throat> For some reason... The computer is not picking up the GAs. Usually they do that. They're the first to go because they're, like I said, they don't. Ha you don't have to worry about, um, they don't hurt your salary cap as long as they're a GA, which I think they're on a GA for three years. Francisco Garza. I don't believe there was a Garza on the list. <clears throat> no, but it's my pick again. And my next is a, 
Hmm, this will actually be a tough call because I do kind of need a goalkeeper. I think I'm going to take the goalkeeper. Um, Nantia, I think is how you pronounce it. Yeah. Yeah, see, his, he's got pretty good rating. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> I'm going to pick this guy. And hey, maybe I'll get lucky and... By the time my next pick comes up, I'll still have, um, I was going to pick up a guy named Francisco Hernandez. He's a, well, he's a striker. But we'll leave it there. Um, and next video will be probably right before the um, end of the preseason. And what I'll do, we'll kind of look real quick at our schedule. I'm getting ready to start today, actually, in the game, a tour of China. We start with a very small club. I did have another friendly lined up, but it got canceled. So um, it is what it is. And then I come back, and I'm actually in the Pan Pacific Championship Tournament. Winning the MLS Cup puts you in this tournament. It's a friendly competition where you play against the uh, Japanese champion, the K-League champion, and the A-League champion from Australia. So that'll be a fun little preseason competition. And then I turn right around and go into the Las Vegas Cup, which this is one of the exhibition tournaments in my custom file so um yeah so there we go we'll um that's just me doing the super draft short video this time short ish compared to my other ones <clears throat> so next video um we'll look at who i drafted and who i sent off on loan we'll just kind of look at the final squad before we head into the season so this is uncle sam fm signing off